just thinking about it just right now. I'm kind of surprised, but here we are in late July, and this is the very first Rattler I am drinking this year. Well, hello, and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. Today, it is the Mountain Made Washington State Drew Brew Lemon Lime Lager, which is a German style rattler. If you're familiar with the Midwest beers, Leinenkugels, a Leine, would be the American or very Americanized version of a traditional Americanized version of a rattler. A rattler is a very traditional German summer beer style where they take a pale lager, a very nicely light lager, and they mix fruit juice with it. Delicious, super amazing, beautiful. There are some wonderful Rattlers you can have. You can get imported uh, pretty easily. I've found them most uh, most major beer retailers in the area. They're pretty easy to find. I would check the dates on them because if you can, because a lot of times those big retailers, um, well, they have no qualms about keeping cans on the shelves for a long time. Anyways. I, in particular, have enjoyed, for U.S.-made Rattlers, I have enjoyed Great Divide's Roadie, which is a grapefruit Rattler. That's probably my go-to. And in general, grapefruit works very nicely as a Rattler where the, the you know, the, the tartness and, and kind of uh, unctuous sweetness of grapefruit, specifically like ruby grapefruits, works very nicely to uh, as a counterpoint to a nice light lager. I have not had Drew Brew's Lemon Lime Lager before, and so I'm quite excited for this. This beer was a gift from the wonderful Justin. And so this one goes out to you, Justin. Also, I'm not going to be drinking this entire can because my wife likes Rattlers as well and is very much looking forward to enjoying some of this. So this is a German-style citrus fruit lager crafted with German Pilsner malt base and infused with lemon and lime juice. Perfect. Let's check that out. Mm, oh, oh wow. Okay, so strong lemon lime character. Almost syrup-like, but it could also be like the Simply brand of lemonade. Kind of, that brand has a particularly syrupy sweet uh, lemonade quality to it. But then there's also the lime twang, which is really nice. It smells strongly of that. There is a hint of the Pilsner going on underneath that. In fact, am I, if I'm further away, I'm picking up more of the Pilsner, or the Pilsner is more evident. But once I stick my nose in, it's, it's lemon lime all the way, and it's a kind of a, a strong, sweet uh, lemon lime character. It smells very clean. I'm I'm not going to say it smells fresh, like as in fresh lemons and limes. I'd imagine this is a relative Oh yeah, so this is this was canned in early early um or mid June. So as far as age goes, it's fine. It's well within its its good period. Um it's more going to be a case of the smell seems to indicate a, I don't want to say processed, um, there's a syrupy quality to it. And yes, there is some process that goes into syrup. It smells good. It smells very interesting. It smells like it could be sweet, which would be interesting. And, but it just doesn't, it doesn't smell like I took limes and I took lemons and I squeezed them and I stirred the juice in my, or the syrup in myself and made a, you know, lemon lime aid right that's what it doesn't smell like anyways let's see what it tastes like oh 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 interesting okay how this stands apart if you're familiar with rattlers they tend to be sweet because they are made with fruit juice not 
fruit extract, particularly the lemon lime, the you know, your tartar fruits. You're you're expecting it to be lemonade, not lemon juice made. This is lemon juice made. It has very, very little sweetness. It has a lemon and a lime peel bitterness, which is beautiful. And it has that Pilsner kind of foundation and almost a zestiness partially from the Pilsner. Like the Pilsner is not, the Pilsner's zestiness or brightness is not competing with the lemon lime or acting in addition to the lemon lime's own zestiness. And so it's it's like it's working all together and it's this really nice like, um, you know, essence of lemon peel, lime peel, and lemon juice, lime juice, and then Pilsner, um, slight maltiness and bright zesty, zesty ness. Let's just drop a ness on there and call it the end. Hmm. And so it drinks a lot more like a really dry Sprite, which is very intriguing. That's, that's really, that's, that's good. And it's unique. It's unique among Rattlers. So perhaps it's because the fruit that's being used here are tart fruits, not sweet fruits. The lime could bring some sweetness. Um, but they are definitely using the tart fruits, and they are not adding any sugar to them. They are not making them an aid, a lemonade or a limeade, before including them in the beer. They are simply making lemon juice and lime juice and including them in this very bright, very effervescent and and beautifully tangy, uh, not tangy, beautifully bright pilsner, and it works really, really well. <laughs> Hmm. Wow. Wow, this is this is this is really good. I'm not going to say this supplants my Brody because I think I like that little bit of sweetness that the grapefruit brings in the Brody by Great Divide, but this is is really good. And frankly, because they stayed so hard on we're going to go dry, we're going to go unsweetened, we're going to go just lemon juice and lime juice and pilsner, it it works really well for a hot day, refreshing beer. And frankly, I would consider making some beer, beer cocktails out of this, like knock a bit of gin and some simple syrup in this. And I think that would be like, sadly, I finished my gin last night, so I will not be doing that. But <laughs> if I had gin, I would be doing that <laughs> after I got a six pack of this to, uh, you know, enjoy. That's a good beer. I appreciate the fact that Drew Brew focused on a really beautiful expression of lemon juice and lime juice and did not go to sweeter areas with them. That they then mixed them with this really beautiful Pilsner that just is right at home with the flavors. And I like that a lot. It's a good beer. It's a very good beer. Anyways, this is me gushing over Drew Brew's Lemon Lime Lager. I'll catch y'all on the flip side.